our work right now on the planet is to bring honoring and sanctity to the invisible just as much as the visible. The invisible results are things like feeling good, things like feeling connected, things like our health, our well-being, a feeling of joy, pleasure. Embodiment can't be faked once you're in an open state where you actually can see through a clear lens. You know, you're not clouded by fear, you're not clouded by the amygdala, you're not clouded by society's news and all the fear-based stuff, and you're just with you. Then you get to decide where you think we actually are. It is possible to navigate pain with grace. Energy is information. We're here to experience the full spectrum. That worthiness is hard for you. There's nothing wrong with you. It is a muscle that we kind of have to learn how to access. You are not disempowered and you have power in every area of your life all the time. I believe that chronic illness is an opportunity for us to heal. Health, it's a choice. Listening to your body if you so choose. My prayer for the world would be that they would know the infinite love of God. Aloha and welcome to the Body and Soul Wisdom Podcast with your host, Jen Mons. Join me each week for soul-inspired, conscious conversations around awakening to your soul purpose through five-element well-being. Thank you so much for joining in. Aloha, my friends and family. Welcome back to the Body and Soul Wisdom Podcast. Still freshly new enough in the year of 2024, all good things to come. I hope this podcast is finding you aligned in your intentions to what I love to say, create, share, grow, and prosper. So many of you know that in the fall, just before the winter of 2023, I published my second book, Book and Journal. You can think of it as And if you've ever read The Artist's Way or Warrior Goddess, they're kind of like interactive books and workbooks. And I really love that format. And this particular book is centered around my prosperity course where I support female entrepreneurs to create, share, grow, and prosper in their business and in their personal life. So the idea is really to help you to build a thriving and prosperous business around your thriving and prosperous life. So we're going to drop the link in the show notes if you don't own a copy of this prosperity book and journal. And what you're going to get inside is a full journey, 90-day journaling experience to unlock your wealth blueprint. Imagine what would shift for you if 90 days from now you revealed your money saboteurs, your money blocks, your money love language, your money wellness, four levels to financial freedom, your passion project, a way to create your legacy for yourself and for generations to come. What would shift for you? So think about that for a moment. What would shift for you if 90 days from now you revealed and unlocked your wealth blueprint? You've heard me say it on this podcast. Money is probably one of the top five things that is difficult for most people to talk about. Religion, politics, food, sex, and money, I would say, are pretty uncomfortable for most people. So this prosperity journal is a balanced and feminine approach to wealth for leaders and entrepreneurs through the art of receiving, embodiment, and celebration. Something shifts in a bigger way when we fully embody somatically the changes that we see are possible for us in the future. In this prosperity journal, you get to heal your relationship to money, turn worth into wealth, create freedom, and learn the art of receiving. 
So why does freedom matter? Why do I have freedom in there? Because freedom gives us choice. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to invite you on a journey to reveal what's inside this prosperity journal. It is 90 days of journal prompts plus an additional 10 bonus integration prompts. I am so honored you have chosen to connect, share, expand, and grow through this journaling experience. As a lifelong teacher and facilitator of transformation and growth, journaling has played a key role throughout my journey and coaching career. This journey will help bring clarity, intention, and ease into your life and facilitate gentle healing through the momentum of your decision to create awareness and a shift in your life. When we choose to take sovereign ownership, as the source of our time, money, and energy, everything around us begins to shift. We stop giving our power away. We lean into trust, and we're more open to receiving. This journal that I have printed and created for you is a gateway to prosperity and wealth through unlocking your hidden beliefs, behaviors, and patterns. Wealth and abundance in all areas of life include financial freedom, health, longevity, and love. And it doesn't stop there. What you reveal inside this journaling experience will permeate into intimacy, receiving, abundance, creativity, and your overall state of well-being. Whether you're an entrepreneur, executive, a stay-at-home parent, a college student, you're going to find more time and financial freedom as you discover and reprogram your relationship to financial well-being, which I call the fifth element of wealth. You can't change the past and where you've been, but in this moment, this present moment, you get to choose who you're becoming. So this journaling experience that I've created for you is a series of prompts to bring awareness and healing to your relationship with not only money, but receiving wealth, abundance, and financial freedom. Your decision to commit to a 90-day journey of journaling is the energy that creates the momentum. And it will begin to rewrite your story. But even more than that, it begins the re-imprinting of generational beliefs. You will be someone's ancestor one day. I always think of that. It begins with you. What story, imprint, or legacy do you want to leave behind? What do you want your children to believe about living well? About money, being in service, and financial freedom? Are you ready to create a new th- wealth and abundance blueprint. If you are, this journal is for you. Through this journey, you're going to reveal your money origin story, identify your money saboteurs and blocks, bring awareness to the energetics of money, receiving wealth and prosperity through money wellness and money love language. You will bring curious insight, awareness, intention, and manifestation of your dreams, goals, and your legacy. Why is this so important right now? I believe we are in a collective shift, a paradigm shift. This journal was created as an invitation to shift the paradigm of feminine leadership for the female leader and entrepreneur. Many of us are tired of hustle, overwhelm, expectation to perform, perfectionism, and competition. Can you relate? I certainly can. This was me until most of you know my story, my near-death experience, almost 18 years ago in 2006 with the birth of my first daughter. And then a second health crisis, which happened in 2014 at the peak of eating clean due to my behavior patterns of overwhelm and hustle, 
and then a third breakdown in 2020 due to a failed business partnership. That was the one where I really got to learn to trust myself more than others. And I also learned why the energy of money and prosperity was so important. Because until you, for most of us, until we lose something, we don't know the value of it. And so in that moment of business distress, although my word of the year for 2020 was prosperity, it was a year of financial debt in my business, which actually then gave me the tools to create the prosperity course and this journal. So we never really know sometimes if you have a word of the year or the goal and it doesn't look like it's shaping up to to be the way you want it to. Sometimes we just have to trust that something bigger is waiting for us on the other side of what we thought was going to happen. So this is what I want you to ask yourself. Am I living the life I want to live? Am I present and intentional each day? Or am I stuck in the cycle of busyness and overwhelm? Because busyness and overwhelm are the biggest blocks to receiving, which is the path to prosperity. As a collective, we're being invited to into a more cyclical and nurturing way of living and being. One where we can choose alignment over hustle, overflowing, over overwhelm, and to be resourced and to thrive in the cycle of giving and receiving, rather than survival mode. I call all of these principles the path of prosperity. Prosperity is embodied trust. The place where you trust so much that when your doubt does not lead you to cycles of overwhelm and overperforming, leaving you with stress, declining health, disconnected relationships, and missing out on the things you love. Prosperity is the energy where you embody abundance and health, wealth, and love to create magic. So it's not just money. It's the art of receiving and thriving and prospering in all areas of life. Why does financial freedom matter? It gives us choice. It's a vehicle for change. And I know a lot of the women that I work with are coaches or practitioners or maybe even executives or maybe medical practitioners. I have a lot of clients who are in service to others. And we can show up in our highest form of service when we are resourced. More importantly, it allows us to amplify our voice and our values in the world and take ownership of our part in the collective shift of values. So if you don't like the way things are happening in the world, then you are a person that gets to receive more financial support to help make those changes in the world. If you're tired of witnessing a world where you struggle with the social norms and expectations of hustle, culture, overwhelm, proving your worth, you don't relate to the values, ideologies, and choices of the mainstream, then this journaling is experience for you. What I love about the word prosperity is so many spiritual teachers have taught on the concept of prosperity. You can find this in the Bible. You can find it in the Tao and from the Dalai Lama. The foundation for prosperity is five element wealth. Those that five dimensional well-being. Body wisdom, spirituality, emotional empowerment, mindset, and financial freedom. Those are ways that we can be fully resourced so that we can thrive and prosper in our life. This 90-day journaling experience is for you if you're the person who hears yourself saying that you don't have the time or the money to do the things you want in your life. Your time, money, and energy do not reflect your values. 
If you're not living the life you want because you lack trust around receiving support, money, and abundance, or if you're navigating overwhelm, busyness, procrastination, indecision, perfectionism, hustle, people-pleasing, or low energy. If you want to experience prosperity at a miraculous level, you must leave behind your old ways of thinking and develop a new way of imagining what is possible for you to experience in your life. One of my favorite prosperity quotes by Wayne Dyer. When you choose to embark on a journaling experience such as the 13 wounds or this 90 day prosperity journaling experience to unlock your wealth blueprint, you will want to create your own unique natural rhythm. Some people find the journaling in the morning is helpful. And some people find that journaling in the evening is helpful. When you choose to commit to a journaling experience because you're ready to shift your mindset, you're ready to redesign your reticular activating system, you're ready to create a new reality and to attract that reality, to bring it into your energy field so that it becomes true for you. You will likely navigate challenges. Some of those challenges include getting started. This is where having support helps. Maybe finding a friend to do the 90-day experience with or following along in one of our prosperity experiences, which is offered once a year. If you don't have a clear connection to your why, So if you're not sure why you want to do this prosperity experience or why you want to commit to journaling, then it's going to be really hard to stay committed. But if you have a goal or a reason in mind, circle back to that goal or reason. Procrastination. Likely that you're feeling busy or overwhelmed or you have a hard time putting yourself first. That can be a really big block that shows up. Or maybe you feel that it has to look perfect. You have to set the timer and journal for five minutes every day at 7 a.m. And the reality is it's probably not going to look like that because life happens. Maybe you have low energy and it's hard to get started. This is where having a cheerleader, an accountability partner, a coach, or someone in your corner to back you up and check in with you can be super helpful. Also, maybe lack of support. Another reason why accountability is really helpful. I've had a lot of clients create what we call financial intimacy with their spouse or partners doing the journal together to, because it creates communication in your relationships. So if you're somebody who is in a relationship where communication, especially around finances, feels difficult, you could try this journal together. A couple of other reasons that might keep you from completing a journaling experience is an inconsistent schedule. Sometimes I have people who work at night or they have inconsistent schedules or they travel a lot. So finding your level of commitment that works for you. Family obligations, of course. We always have to figure out a way to put our time and what matters to us first while we're also taking care of other people. So in this prosperity experience, I talk a lot about how money is energy and energy needs clarity and how where our intention flows, energy goes. So if where our intention goes, energy flows and money is also energy, what I have also witnessed is that when women sign up to do my group program or come to my retreat, they immediately start receiving financial prosperity. And the only answer I can think that validates why that would be happening. One is because what we focus on expands. So what we put our energy into tends to grow and expand. We also open up to receiving a lot more. And our energy 
when we're nurturing that relationship with receiving and financial abundance, we're telling, we're putting out that vibration that, hey, we're, we're putting out a service out here and we're ready to receive in, in this capacity. So if you're somebody who is ready to heal your relationship to money, ready to receive more abundance in your life, so abundance can be love, money, opportunities, connections, nourishment. It's a state of being. It's a, it's a feeling. If you're ready to embody trust in all the areas of your life, because prosperity consciousness is embodied trust. If you're curious about the gateway to receiving joy and more abundance, you're ready to explore the connection between intimacy, financial freedom, and health through the art of receiving, which is something that we reveal and discover in this process. You're tired of busyness, misalignment, and overwhelm. You're ready to live your life with intention so you can look back and celebrate your life. You're ready to explore energy alignment over time management. You're ready to heal your money origin story. You're ready to identify your money saboteur. You're ready to amplify your voice and your values in the world with money as a vehicle for transformation and change in your life and in the world. You're ready to learn the four levels to financial freedom. You're ready to explore your idea of freedom and legacy. Some women, a handful of women, have chosen to invest in real estate while in this program. Others have negotiated their pay and salary and raises. You're ready to give yourself permission to start each day with intention and align your choices with your natural flow and energy. You're ready to deepen your connection to your own self-awareness about what is working and what is not working in your life. You want to feel lighter, more free, more balanced, and have the energy to say yes to the things you want while releasing that which does not serve you or support you. You want to be part of a collective shift and create more freedom because you probably see other people doing it and you're wondering, How are they doing it? How can I get into that energy? I can tell you from a personal experience, I have created so much freedom around my business, putting my life first, living in alignment through five element wealth, Serving at a high capacity for very driven, purpose driven women who are really ready and invested in themselves to create change in their life and businesses. And I've also helped both of my daughters to do the same. If you don't know anything about my personal life, my oldest daughter is about to graduate from an international college prep school. In Hawaii, which we were able to support her in doing because of the freedom and choice that I created through my business. And she'll be attending a four-year anniversary, anniversary, university in Florence, Italy. My younger daughter, I just took her to Brazil for three weeks to receive, to win, to earn a silver medal at the World Junior Olympics. I'm helping them to build their own businesses, create products and services, and brand themselves. Because this is the shift that we're moving into as a collective. As someone who graduated from a military service academy with two degrees and worked corporate as an engineer for many years, I have found more joy and freedom in the skills that I learned and putting them to work for myself and my own business. Now that choice isn't for everybody. But some of you might be thinking that you want to create something on the side from a place of joy, your passion project. And some of you might already be in business for yourself, looking to grow or to expand to that next level. 
So this, this journal is an amazing experience for either of those. So also, as you dive into the journal, you'll notice that there's an area for helpful tips on how to stay committed, who this journal is for, what prosperity consciousness is, the seven money saboteurs, the six major money blocks, and also the five love languages for money. And you can also find those topics on my podcast through the Prosperity series. Prosperity consciousness is really that shift from scarcity to abundance, fear to truth, and from consumer consciousness to creator consciousness. So the really fun thing that happens when you're living in that vibration of abundance and prosperity is that you start to open up this untapped resource within you which is your creativity. And you get to create things from a place of joy and you get to share them with other people. That's how I came to create these two journals and I'm working on my next publication as we speak because it's easier to feel creative when we feel resourced. And I see this happen in my clients all the time. The more resourced they are with support, The more resourced they are in their businesses through financially, the more creative they become. And the art of living well in the energy of prosperity and abundance means that you are fully resourced through five element wealth, through a healthy mindset, through emotional empowerment, through your spiritual growth, through your body wisdom and your physical health and through the path to creating financial freedom. Some of the the money saboteurs that might come up are the people pleaser, the martyr, the fixer, the victim, the tyrant, the free spirit, and the saver. So I invite you to check out the podcast episode where we dive a little bit deeper into the seven money saboteurs. And something else that we talk about on the other side of the seven money saboteurs are also the wealth archetypes. So the wealth archetypes are those energies that we embody when we're both in our healthy self and our survivor self when it comes to our relationship with money, time, energy, and receiving. The six major money blocks that come up for almost everyone are the biggest one that I see is hard work equals success. So we think that the harder we work, it's like a badge of honor. In almost a way that we play small. Somebody can give us a compliment and we'll say, well, thank you, I, I work really hard. And so we think that hard work equals success because it's noble. Another money block is that money isn't spiritual. This can be pretty common with spiritual healers integrative practitioners or people who are spiritually centered that they believe they just want to be in service but they don't need to be paid in abundance for the transformation that they create the third money block is that money is evil so maybe we learned from our childhood or even our adulthood maybe we experience betrayal through divorce or some type of betrayal or anything else that can come up, that it leads to greed and destruction. The fourth money block is that are the beliefs that we have about wealthy people. So maybe you do or don't know wealthy people, but maybe you've been taught either way that wealthy people are greedy, evil, and selfish, or that you have to be born into money. How many self-made millionaires do you know? If you don't know that many, you want to Surround yourself with more. Scarcity and shame around debt and failure. This is probably the second biggest one that I find. So based on a previous experience, maybe you lack trust or you have shame around financial decisions that you made. I know I have certainly felt this as a business owner. I've been 
a business owner for almost 15 years and I didn't get here by making all good decisions. And even when I think I've made the mistake once and I, I won't do it again, sometimes it shows up in a different way. But what we think is a mistake is really just clarity on what isn't working and clarity on what opportunity we still have to work on ourselves and our mindset and our beliefs. And then lastly, a major money block is that money is not aligned with my beliefs or values. So saying to yourself, I have everything I need. I don't really need anything else. I just don't need money. It's not important. I can relate to that and it will tell you that, yes, you may have everything you need. And when you allow yourself to receive more for the service that you put out into the world, you get to give more, you get to do more, you get to support more. So it's not just about you. It's actually about the people that you're meant to serve. There's also five love languages for money that are derived from the five love languages in how our relationship with money can show up. So with physical touch, some people can hold on too closely or they have a hard time letting go. For acts of service, the unhealthy trait would be that they barter or trade. The healthy acts of service is when they are paid in exchange for their services. Unhealthy quality time is when we want immediate gratification when we spend for short-term pleasure. And healthy is when we're very conscious about investing. So this is where the consumer versus creator and conscious investor come in. Unhealthy for gifts is when we buy gifts for appreciation or validation. Healthy gifts is when we invest as a love language to ourselves and to others. Words of praise will show up unhealthy when we realize the impact, when we don't appreciate or realize the impact of our value or money, or when we speak in scarcity. We're using our words to speak about money in scarcity, shame, or lack of trust. So as simple as saying, I don't have the money for that, really just means that you haven't been shown or believe that it's around you or that you can create something to bring it in. And healthy words of praise are when we show gratitude for money and we are resourceful. I will close with this quote. As you sit in the energy of prosperity and ask yourself, what might be possible for me in 90 days if I commit to a 90-day journaling experience to unlock my wealth blueprint? This is a quote from Gandhi. Your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. And your values become your destiny. So as I leave you with this podcast episode, I invite you to check out the link on Amazon. For $22, you can get a hardback copy of the prosperity book and 90 day journaling experience with 90 days of journaling prompts through the different areas, which I take my students through in my course and 10 bonus integration prompts. Plus at the end, you'll find some next steps. You'll find reflections, growth, and goals to keep you on track with your new mindset shifts, your new beliefs. So there's so much more in this journaling experience than just the 90 days. I give you the tools to continue planning, setting goals, and integrating into your life beyond the experience. As you go through the 10-week series of the Prosperity Course, and if you are seeking more of an experience and more support with weekly support, 
then you're invited to join the Prosperity Course, which enrollment opens every January of every year, or at least it's January of this year. We might end up doing it in the spring of 2025. I'm kind of playing around with that a little bit, but enrollment is currently open for this year for Prosperity 2024. And we're going to go in depth a little bit deeper into all of these journaling prompts to the money saboteurs, the money blocks, your money origin story, the five levels, the four levels to financial freedom, creating a legacy of wealth, the art of receiving, how to shift your beliefs around money. When we're in the course together, because we know that our intention is where energy goes and because money is energy we're doing the things that we know that we need to do and we're organizing our expenses we're taking a look at everything energetically that is coming in and coming out of our personal and business lives while also healing our relationship to money so it's an amazing experience and many women have had a lot of growth financial growth through and personal growth through the journey. So we'll, we'll drop a link if you'd like to join or connect on a call with me. We'd love to have you. And I look forward to joining in with you every week for the next 10 weeks for the Prosperity Experience on the podcast. Aloha and have a wonderful evening. The content of this podcast is to educate, inspire, and inform you of pathways to an embodied healing self. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice from your medical doctor, therapist, registered dietitian, or nutritionist for any questions you may have regarding your diagnosis or condition. Hello, friends, and thank you so much for joining again each week on the Body and Soul Wisdom Podcast. I am so deeply honored to share this space with you every week. I know that there are many other podcasts that you could be tuning into, and our community is expanding and growing more with each new episode. I'd like to invite you to come on over to genmons.com forward slash tribe and receive some of the wonderful gifts that we have for you, a meditation bundle, energetic alignment, five element wealth, prosperity consciousness. We have a ton of different gifts available for you to enjoy. Now, we have one small favor to ask. In order for this podcast to get into the hearts and souls of like and like-minded people, we need your support. We would love your review and would love it if you'd head on over to jenmonds.com forward slash podcast to leave a review or leave one on iTunes so that we can continue to share the love beyond out into the world. Thank you so much again for joining in. We'll see you next week.